All right, guys, out with the old, in with the new. Look, check it out, boys. We got Case H two thirty five. Is it a compact tractor? Is it a small tractor? Well, well in game, sorry, it's a small tractor in game. But like, how? How? I was trying to search the Case H two thirty five. Came up with a lot of uh, like Google images and stuff, and I just kind of wanted to look at it. And actually, I've never seen this this tractor. I, I'm maybe I've seen it in real life uh, at like an auction before, but I've never really acknowledged it, knew of it, and then I didn't. So I wanted to do a little bit of research. I looked them up and. I was wondering, are they garden tractors? Are they utility tractors? Are they compact tractors? What would you classify it? Probably there is no defined area. I'm sure everybody in the comments will probably have um, mixed, mixed ideas. But it, it's a unique tractor at that. I, I don't think I can call it a garden tractor. But it's not like a comp. It's, I don't know. I don't, I'm just going to call it the Case 235. I'll just call it the tractor. Anyway, there's so many different versions of it. It's really good. It's been out for a while. It's on Mod Hub. It's, it's public. I haven't just been able to get, make a video of it. So we threw away our Isle of Chalmers. No, I'm just kidding. We we still sell them, but I, I've, <laughs> I've thrown a few of these in the here. We'll put this guy in the trash can too. Stay no, stay in there. Stay in there. Okay, this trash can's kind of full. Uh, the door won't even shut, but we'll just keep it back there. Hopefully, the trash trash guys garbage man comes very shortly so real quick let's go ahead purchase another one just because you know why not okay what am i doing all right go to uh go to small tractors first off and then here's the ksh 235 all right so this thing it's pretty big when you walk on, when you look at it like in real life like on a picture it's uh it's pretty big and in game it looks like like a garden tractor anyway so you can throw the uh you can throw the the roll bar on there or not and then you can do front uh front loader configuration or not honestly i'm not gonna throw on the front loader because it like messes the the mod like bounces left and right it's it's like the weight of it really messes with the uh with the tractor anyway so you got your standard and then you got what is, how do you know the ag tire shallow tread not really sure there then you throw duels on her and then you got the deep tread this this looks really clean really nice i saw most of them had like the deep tread were four by fours and look like they were most of them had snow plows the snow blowers not many of them even had mowers on them so it was kind of unique in that sense and then there we go you got your duels in the back then you got your twins in the front too so pretty interesting lots of configurations i bought pretty much every single configuration i get my hands on and when you see like the belly mower just still i'm i'm trying to think can you call this a garden tractor what do you call it uh, cause I think it's just a bit bigger than, you know, your normal John Deere garden tractors. I know there's different versions that are quite a bit bigger, but I don't know. It's not, I don't know what you call it. I mean, look at the exhaust. It's huge. I don't know a lot about tractors either. So everybody's probably gonna be like, yo, Spencer, that it's this kind of tractor. It's this, this category of tractors. And, and I just personally, I, I, I don't know that, um, enough messing around with that. I'm sure you guys will take care of it in the in the comment section so we have the belly mowers over there then you can throw your front loader your bucket i'm actually in your blade the blade's really cool too here we'll throw we'll get this going we'll throw a blade on it and uh yeah so we could use this for we could use this for so many little things you know let's attach to the blade real quick there we go the blade works perfectly we still don't have snow in fs19 but like for sure like this would be so cool and i feel like if you threw the twins with the double tread that the the deep tread that would be that would be the move honestly i don't i don't like the shallow tread but i mean they're wide rear tires though that's kind of why they honestly look like you know i don't like the rims they're kind of weird but if i were to pick a tractor i'd probably go with the the deep treads let me know what you guys think is the coolest one as well so let's go jump over here to our d max the uh our other trucks and trailers are actually out being used but right now by our employees so I, uh, I can't get my hands on them. Anyway, let's uh, let's head over there real quick. We'll throw all this on the trailer. I I have a few lawns to mow today. I don't know if I'll take the case over. We're gonna start selling these uh, tractors, so I, I better use them, get get to know them better, and uh, use them for the shop too. Because it's always good when I can say, oh yeah, I, I take this out every single day, and I use it for my mowing service, and then also we use we sell it at our dealership. So. It, makes a lot of credibility for uh for me or wait i should probably okay i'm gonna leave the front loader there you guys don't want to see it you probably do want to see it but you don't want to see it because it's it's rough it, you can't even drive this thing when you attach to the front loader i don't know why it is it's just the mod it's a really really well done mod besides the front loader um 
so many different configurations as I go forward here you can see the I doubt that's the throttle that wouldn't really make sense if that's the throttle we have to like stick your arm um, forward but I like how it moves very cool I like how it moves there's something else oh when you turn on the mower it also moves so kind of cool stuff I should probably throw our belly mowers on here there we go oh yeah she looks clean and most it cuts really good too oh my goodness this is such a crazy setup is there any here we'll throw uh we'll back up we'll get the winch on here i also bought a winch i should be able to attach to it i thought i was gonna be able to can i, can I spin it around yeah i think i need to spin it around there we go there we go now we got a winch on here as well so we can do a lot with that go ahead it's got a pto shaft in the back so again super i feel like i don't i don't even know what i feel like but it can be used for, for so many different things you have your three point attach oh my goodness it's just i'm really curious what do you guys who know so much more about tractors than i i didn't grow up on a farm um what kind of tractor category would this be in i tried searching just like on craigslist to see like if it would say like sub compact tractor i don't know anyway i'm excited to see that in the comments let's go i'm gonna start unloading these honestly i could probably easily just drive them over it might almost be easier due to the fact that i could that they go 17 miles an hour and i probably didn't go at over 17 in my d max so let's back her off here i'm not sure we are running out of room we're selling pretty good though too um all right first off let's throw one i like this one the most let's throw this like that's what do you call it that's just like a little utility tractor or sub like a compact tractor the deer right there and this is not that size but then this isn't the size of like your typical just john deere rider like a um like your 300 or 350 series even like your 750 like little garden tractor series those are garden tractors but i guess this is this is older too so i don't think that oops i accidentally just shut the no open it back up I accidentally just shut that there we go all right let me get out get out of my way boy all right let's jump in this also unload it not sure where i'm gonna put my maybe i'll put my red tractors next to my red bat wings maybe i don't know i like the blade i feel like if i were to purchase this probably wouldn't really use it for mowing i don't know i just if i were to have a big if i were to have anything than a push mower or like a very small like i don't know very small stand behind i would for sure go zero turn i, I would never really if i'm just gonna mow with something I would never get like a tractor like this and have a belly mower on it or just like a garden tractor but if i if, if i were to mow do snow plowing or snow removal and maybe have like an aerator on the back fall time springtime and do many other things with it then for sure you go garden tractor but i don't know i especially when i was younger i was like why would anybody ever get a garden tractor that's like so i don't know it's like it's like well it doesn't mow good but then i realized oh those are meant for more than just mowing so it does make sense if you have a snowblower on there i feel like you can make some really good money just going over to your neighbors and stuff and just tearing it up because it's so easy to maneuver in like your suburban driveways all right let's go back this guy up here i got what i got four more to load up how many mowers i got left i got three mowers oh okay i think i only have two, two tractors that don't have a mower so i don't know what we're gonna do with the last one then i think this is just your standard blank setup the uh no special tires no special really nothing oops forgot to lower the ramps there there we are let's go ahead load her up load her up if you guys want to check me out on instagram the uh i i try and post interesting things on my story now that i'm off of school check me out in the link in the description for my instagram it's also spencer tv underscore youtube if you just want to search it it's probably easier to just to click the link and uh and go follow me there because like stuff like the squad's like new truck when we got it stuck in the mud which you will see probably today if you're watching this on monday i think it's coming out anyway if you guys make sure you go check me out on instagram i try and it's not about farm somewhere it's pretty much about my real life so if you're interested in any of that i guess if you're a good fan true fan go check me out there and all right let's go grab the last mower front loader just leave it there again you know what i'm gonna attach to it just because i hate like not filling people in 
on actually what's happening and then I'm gonna go mow something with this I need to go find or uh, I need to get the address of the oh wait I don't even have a front loader on it no okay um I tell you what I'm gonna go over here to the shop customize it I was like you know how can I add a front loader to it um can I custom okay guys I know this is just in game but if you compare it to the 2032 or 105 horsepower which I think is not I don't know if that's realistic anyway just in game these are just in game stats because uh, that's all I'm going off of 105 horsepower and you have 35 and then the Chalmers is is eight so it's like in between I would call this like a like a compact tractor a, u a small utility tractor and then this is 100% garden tractor and then obviously like these are much larger tractors but just showing in-game kind of stats and how okay well I was gonna buy another one because I couldn't change it anyway front loader throw her on let's do yep we'll just throw that on there and if I were to do for uh I would do that right there there we go and then we need to go to front loaders we need to hurry this up because we need to get out there we need to mow when you see how this thing cuts there we go throw a little loader on there and the bucket nope yes okay I I don't need to buy another one I already have another one all right you're gonna see right when I attach it's gonna get very very rough or wait leave that guy there and there she is all right I don't know why I bought another front front or front loader because they already had one and then now we have the front loader attachment availability there we go and the wow I that hasn't happened but as you can tell it uh yep are we rolling we're doing okay all right some handstand what is this all right so that is that's enough of that and i think we'll just leave him there by himself all right well oh no we we gotta throw in the last one here but yeah that's uh that's rough i'm just gonna leave him there i wanted to show you guys what happened with the front loader just so you somewhat understand what i was trying to talk about so we got an all red crew we have uh chevy and case and then just very similar red tones of color uh so i this would make artist jack very happy seeing three case tractors on a pj trailer being pulled by his truck that he made uh a dirt max so uh, yeah this would be this would be his optimal setup it's she's squatting though too she yeah i mean they weigh a lot there's three of them plus like the mower you know everything just starts to add up uh obviously the pj trailer is very large as well so let's take these over here we'll have i'll take one to go mowing i just gotta find again get the address and then we will head over and start mowing either i'm gonna go up in the mountains or i got all my stuff mode here can i mow this maybe right you know what? i'm just gonna test it out right here we'll go ahead take a right i'm just trying to do a demo do a little here can we mow this all right let me pull off on the side of the road i just want to do a quick demo for you guys show you all what is what is up how this thing cuts i've only made a few passes in it and yeah we're gonna see your your avatar or your person your character does not appear until you zoom out a ways which is a little annoying um but because mowing you, you kind of want to be somewhat zoomed in for when you go on like around a tree but oh well all right so like i was saying the lever does move forward when you uh turn on and off the mower oops okay there we go i need to lower it down now we are cutting and then also when you purchase the mower itself it says that it has an 18 meter cut length and that is like that is not true at all this is not 18 meters i was like oh my goodness this is gonna be like some crazy modded thing okay i so another thing I just found out, do not turn that sharp. It uh, it does not like that. What's top speed? Okay, top speed's eight miles an hour when we got the uh, when we got the mower running. Yep, there goes my person. We'll do a little first person action here. I like it. It's uh, it's clean. It's not bad at all, and it seems to cut totally good. And oh, there's two different mower decks as well. I forgot to tell you there's a discharge and then no discharge So if you don't want what I mean discharge for those who don't know, it's just like no um, No grass shooting out the side, which is obviously real life. You can't just say yeah, no discharge <laughs> unless you have a bagger uh, But yeah, so that's kind of a nice little feature the mod creator threw in there as well and yeah she she cuts really good i like it and i'm on the other side of the fence now but hope you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you all so much for watching where am i going i don't know i just like to move when i'm 
when I when I talk. I don't know. I think that's more. No. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna quit talking. Have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. She's a beauty, Clark.